Last year, the ACDP has engaged a number of times with the Chief Justice and its administrators support the Office of the Chief Justice. We can indeed be grateful for an independent judiciary that holds both Parliament and the Executive to account, as well as dispensing civil and criminal justice in the nation. And during our recent interaction with the Chief Justice and Judiciary at the Con Constitutional Court, when the CJ tabled the Judiciary's annual report, I raised the question as to what mechanism should be used to hold the judiciary accountable for its court performance. While the judiciary is and must be independent, Parliament appropriates its funds. The Justice Committee in this report also expressed its concerns about the, and the manner in which we can gauge how well the justice system is operating, given that much of the information relating to court performance is located within the, the judiciary. How then should the judiciary account? In the absence of any legislative guidance, the judiciary has taken the initiative to account directly to the nation, as is the case with jurisdictions like Kenya, Singapore, and other constitutional democracies. And while the ACDP welcomes that interim mechanism, clearly this must be finalized. We also suggested, as we've done in the past, that there should be engagements with the Chief Justice and Heads of Court. These informal engagements will be to engage and to discuss matters of mutual concern. And lastly, we welcome the appointment of the new judges. We are concerned, as is also pointed out in this report, about the lack of wellness support offered to judicial officers, the stress that they have to operate under, and the presiding over many traumatizing cases. We support the judicial wellness programs and stress management programs that are presently being implemented under the auspices of the Office of the Chief Justice and the Judiciary. The ICDP will support this report. I thank you. Thank you.